Hey there, once again, I'm here for another tutorial here to show you this time how to create user accounts on uh, Windows 10. Now, sometimes whenever we have a computer, we want to go ahead and have one of our family members or one of our friends use it. The um, ideal thing would be to actually go ahead and uh, you know don't let them use it on your user account rather have them use it but on a on a separate account on your same computer so for that we're gonna go ahead and do the following you're gonna go ahead and click on the um, start button right here then you'll go ahead and go to settings and then right after that you're gonna go ahead and, and select user accounts there we go okay right here you will be able to see your your username or if you have your your Microsoft email address linked to your computer it'll be right here and uh, right right there where you see where it says local account on yours if you have your email address linked it'll be right there so you'll go ahead and uh, go to family and other users and then you will go right here add someone else to this PC okay there we go right here you actually get the prompt to go ahead and um, sign in with with the um, Microsoft email account if you have one of course if not then down if you have one obviously you go ahead and just click next that way you can go ahead and uh, it'll take you to the sign in process if not you go ahead and click right there where it said uh, I don't have the person's information and right here it still gives you the other option to go ahead and, uh, and create the account or use a phone number if not you, you will go ahead and uh, and select this this option right here add a user without a Microsoft account and there you go right there username we're just gonna go ahead and put something like um, user 2 or something in your case obviously you'll go ahead and put your your friend's name or the person who's gonna be using the, the computer There we go. And we'll just go ahead and uh, click random um, questions. and there we go the new account will be ready so for that you know to be able to verify if the account indeed it has been created you can go ahead and exit out of this right here you can just go ahead and click refresh there you go ahead and click uh, start button you go ahead and click right there you know the little three lines and then right here where it says uh, where you where you will have the uh, administrator's name of the account, uh, you know, the person's, you know, the owner of this computer. You go ahead and click right there, and there you go. You'll be able to see the other account right there. So the only thing they'll have to do there is just, is just pretty much, the, you know, just select that right there, and it'll take them right into the the login process of entering the password the, you know the one you created as well as uh, it'll give give you a message as uh, saying that you know Windows is gonna load it's probably gonna take like a couple minutes so it won't actually take very long and, and that's it you, you just go ahead and start using it 
So if you want to go ahead and delete the account after they they use it, you go back again to the start button to settings to the accounts section. And then you'll go ahead and go to family and other users, and you'll be able to see the uh, the account the the one that was created, you know, just for your friend or family member or whatever you will go ahead and just uh, select that account um, just let me mention they will have to actually be signed out out of the um, out of the account otherwise it'll give you a prompt saying that they're still logged in and that they need to go ahead and log out before they can actually go ahead and, and erase it so you just go ahead and click on on remove that'll go ahead and, and delete everything and that's it you're good to go after that that will go ahead and get rid of the account oh. that will be a good quick simple way of creating um, other accounts see and there you go you go ahead and go back to the start button there and the only account that you have it's you know the one the uh, admin for the admin so there you go that's one quick way of creating new user accounts It'll be the exact same way pretty much on Windows 8, 8.1, and 7 as well. So that'll be the way you can create the um, user account on Windows 10 as well as being able to erase it. So, okay, I hope that was helpful for you and um, I hope you like it. So, thanks for watching and you have a good one.